All right, listen, you're going to have to pardon my voice for today's video. I went to go see that new Evil Dead movie last night. A lot of people were screaming. It was really scary. My voice didn't really survive. But you know what? We inch closer and closer to the release of Marvel Spider-Man 2 with each passing day, and we keep getting these little trickles of information. And today is no different. You see, Yuri Lowenthal, our voice of Spider-Man for these games, was doing a Reddit AMA yesterday and was asked about his work on Marvel Spider-Man 2. But it's a bit of a confusing one. We're going to get into all that today. But before we do so, if you cannot wait for this game, scroll down hit that thumbs up button let's get the video to 3,000 likes because i know you guys are hyped for spider-man 2 and with that being said let's get into this so like i said yuri lowenthal did an ama on reddit he was asked about marvel spider-man 2 plenty of times and was able to answer some questions of course he didn't give us anything in regards to like story details or anything like that yuri lowenthal knows how to manage his nda but what was most important is that a lot of people were asking him are you done with your voice work are you done with your mocap for the game because it wasn't too long ago that we saw yuri and Naji Jeter, the voice of Miles Morales for these games, doing mocap for the game still. Plus, Tony Todd was hinting that he was still doing some mocap as well, so people were like, what's going on? Could this game get delayed? Are they done the mocap? What's happening? And maybe we can put that to rest, because when asked about his mocap, and then as well on a separate occasion, when asked about his voice work, Yuri Lowenthal said, I'm all done, we're finished, I'm good. And of course, that got a lot of people happy. That meant that we were chugging along with this game, and we should be on course for release in the fall. But like I said, today's news is a little Little bit confusing because people followed up with Yuri Lowenthal on Twitter and said, have you finished motion capture slash voicing for Spider-Man? And Yuri Lowenthal responded saying, no, we still have tons more to do. But you gotta wonder, does he mean there's tons more to do in terms of motion capture or tons more to do in terms of voice work? Because if this pertains to the motion capture, then that's very interesting. I don't know how long it takes to animate this stuff. I don't know how long it takes to polish it but I feel like six months time might not be enough. However, if this just has to do with the voice work, I feel like there's nothing to fear. I'm sure we're all good for a fall 2023 release date if this tweet had to do with just the voice work. You know, they wanna get in a lot of those quips in there. They wanna make sure that all those little bits of dialogue are all cleaned up and polished and ready to go. But I just wish that Yuri Lowenthal would clarify a little bit about what's going on here because he said one thing during the Reddit AMA and then another thing on Twitter. I will say though, I have a pretty good feeling that he's probably just talking about the voice work because there's no way they're still doing mocap. And if they are doing mocap for the game, well then I'd say it could be for the DLC. Now there's no official confirmation that Marvel Spider-Man 2 is gonna have DLC, but I mean, the first game did. And I know that Miles Morales didn't, but I feel like that was a bit more of a smaller game and was kind of supposed to be something for us to get to know Miles and understand his character and as well give us a nice little buffer in between Spider-Man 1 and Marvel Spider-Man 2. You know, Horizon Forbidden West just had a major expansion drop for the game. I wouldn't count out that Sony wants to do something similar for Spider-Man at Insomniac. You already know that they want to capitalize on this IP and as well this franchise, it is so massive. Plus imagine the DLC suits that they're going to add in because there's going to be some suit that somebody really wanted that didn't make the base suit selection. And in Dream World, if the DLC was making Venom playable, holy smokes, the amount of money that Sony would make on that. So to sum it all up, I don't think we should be hitting the big red panic button on Marvel Spider-Man 2 getting a delay. Insomniac is pretty damn good with their release dates. I mean, the first Spider-Man game didn't get delayed and neither did Miles Morales. So honestly, I wouldn't worry about what Yuri Lowenthal is saying. I highly suspect that it could be for the DLC if he's still doing a bunch of mocap. If all he's talking about is just voice work, then again, I think it's just applying those finishing touches in terms of the dialogue that you would normally hear the character say, either when you finish a crime, when you're going around and quipping, all that stuff. I guess we'll have to wait and see, and I think it's not going to be too long now honestly i'm sensing i'm spidey sensing a playstation showcase right around the corner i just want to see gameplay for this game i want to see more of venom for marvel spider-man 2 i want to see what craven looks like for marvel spider-man 2 there's so much that's yet to be unveiled i'm sure there's going to be a whole rogues gallery too that we're going to face off against in this game i cannot wait to see what types of villains we might go up against there's so much to be excited about. And if it turns out that Yuri Lowenthal is pretty much done the mocap, if it turns out that he's still just got work to do for the voice acting, then again, I think we're all set for that fall 2023 release. At least I'm crossing my fingers that that's the case. But with that being said, now I want to kick it to you guys. Sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about Yuri Lowenthal's AMA on Reddit and then that tweet and the conflicting responses? And also, if we do end up getting a DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2, which I'll be honest, I think is pretty likely what do you want it to be about? There's so many ideas that people have thrown out there in terms of playable Venom, maybe even a playable Black Cat. I think it would be cool if Insomniac expanded a little bit on the different playable characters.
characters, similar to what they ended up doing with the Arkham series. You know, we got Nightwing and Robin and Catwoman, and they're all very different in the way that they play. But anyways, I want to hear everything you guys have to say in the comments below. Again, I'm so sorry for my voice, but hey, hit that thumbs up for the dedication. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.